Hello everybody and welcome back to Lunchtime with a Silver Fang. I am as always a Silver Fang and this is as always Dragon Age Inquisition. Ugh. Here we are once again. Happy Monday everybody. I believe we last left off racing against Corypheus toward an Alluvion. We're totally going to beat him there. This is completely, absolutely, 100% the last mission. Ugh, where'd that come from? Mission of the game. Ten billion percent certainty. I thought I thought I said something blue. No, it might have been just my uh, staff. My bad. Loot. Loot. Hold on. I need to get my bearings. Yeah, there's that, so let's go this way. It's like, I can see the right way, so obviously in the nature of all video games, I will go the wrong way. Because that's where all the secrets are, the wrong way. There you are, teleporting again, Varric. Whoa. Where'd you all come from? I was just standing there. Good, good. Loot. Okay, here we go. Like this is the right way, right? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think this is the right way. Yeah, it's totally the right way. Pure red lyrium, so I guess that's for making runes. Assassin's weapon. Okay. I guess I want to go north. Right. Yeah. I still have not found Colin.
Temple Gates. Whoa. No, I will fight them all because I can, and I'm amazing like that. Hey, Colin, how you doing? I was just I was just talking about you, just saying how I haven't found you yet. Hmm, this seems like the right way. Hold up. Map say Dead end. Big statue of something. Wolves! Light cash. Wait, hold on. Loot. Okay. How's everyone doing on supplies? We're perfect on supplies. Alright. That must be the Temple of Methal. I hear fighting ahead. By there, do you mean here, right where we're standing? I don't see anything out through the doors. Okay, I remember we're looking for a well. Of some sort. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? What do you know? That's exactly where I'm going. Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Jeez! What was that? Was he just burned to... Did he just burn away? Melt? What the heck? That's how that works. Gross. Woo. Gross. Ah, we sealed it. Okay, now we just have to kill all the Templars in here and it should be fine. I mean, I'm sure there's another way out for us. I'm sure we're not sealed in forever. Right? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. At last, Lathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. 
I am uncertain of what he referred to. That's not good. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. Confidence can carry one only so far, it seems. I suspected. I did not know. True. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. That is true. And it's not like you didn't come here to help us. People do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. Hold on. We'll do that in a moment. There it is. The Temple of Mythal. Once again, Genitivi is completely at odds with reality. Ancient... Let's say, Once again, Genitivi is completely at odds with reality. Ancient elven temples were, so, were no simple shrines. Extensive digging shows that buildings radiated out of the, of the main evidence. Ev ugh, of the main edifice. Much like a city wrapped around a palace. Indeed, these temple, these temple complexes must have been cities once. With a veritable army of functionaries running them. Each cult had different rituals, ablutions, and prayers to their chosen patron that ran all hours of the day. The time and effort devoted to them must have been staggering. Well, they were immortal. Perhaps it's best we do... Perhaps it's best we have lost knowledge of these pagan rites. The deities that the old elves worshipped, if they existed at all, were clearly demons masquerading as higher powers. One shudders to think of what went on before their thrones. From an essay by Atronus of Antiva. Scholar and naturalist to the Antivan royal court. Hmm. We saw him die, and his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. So that's how the bastard survived, Hawk. We'll find a way to stop Corypheus once we're done here. It is strange. Yep. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. <laughs> well, that explains why he was locked away and not killed. Are you happy now, Solus? Maybe now Solus and Varric can have a, good, a different conversation. Well, I'm not finding any secrets. There's some armor blessing, but I don't need that. Whoa. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Hmm. Ancient Elven. I can't make out much. Atishol, via Abalasan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. She then. She then. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. We should have more. We're out of luck unless one of those temple elves drops a lexicon. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh. A ritual to appease elven gods? Long dead or no, I don't like it. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Oh, uh, this seems like a simple puzzle, right?
Yeah, just light up all the things. Let us see what awaits. Okay, so... Yes. Is Griffius truly is immortal? Griffius is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal. Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have hmm. seen a true Archdemon. That is true, yeah. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Will answering it help us? Hold on. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Yeah, but an alluvion we could take with us. A um a well? How, we're basically gonna have to destroy it somehow. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? Mm. The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was ah. more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. You I find bow. it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. That's a great change from the norm for you. Unless you're talking about just manipulating people, then it's completely normal for you. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So yeah, I'm Dalish. I know about Mithal. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge, and yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. Accounts? There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal, and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. You know more, Solus? If you know more about this, Solus, speak. The oldest accounts say Mathal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal are the same. Exiled to beyond with her hmm. brethren. He speaks of them. He speaks of her as though he knew her. I'm. I'm not. It's the more I know Solus, the more mysterious he is. I want to know the truth. What do you mean, exile? Tricked by the dread wolf, as all the elven gods were said to be. Trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinta. Who can say? You've seen the elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists. Fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Yeah. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients, having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. I know, especially since they're dead now. It would be unheard of. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It's thrilling, no? To discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. Yeah. We may, however, 
find these elves reluctant to part with their long kept secrets. True. They have been given reason through history to keep secret. What the heck? I see the Red Templars have already encountered the temple's guardians. Um. These don't look like elven statues. We've been seeing tons of elven statues in all the games. Especially when I went to the Dales in this game. These don't look like elves. These don't look like elvish statues. If anything, my first thought when I look at them is demons. It's the wings. The bat-like wings make me think demons. So odd. Well... I'll loot him. Ooh, gold and supplies. Apparently he was a supply chest. Um Probably didn't matter. I'm gonna save just to be safe anyway. Hmm. Door. Door, because I did thing. I did the ritual and it opened up. Mm. The Temple of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves not men, dominated this land. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment after they proved their worth. Silence has reigned here for time beyond memory. Wow. I'm really glad I brought Solus on this. I see a dread wolf. I see a sigil. I'm so unstoppable, I think I will use a lyrium sigil on my own armor. Wow, we finally found a statue of Fen Harel. I can't loot that. Okay, that's weird. The Rebel God. The Dalish use Haralan to mean traitor to one's kin. But the word does not appear in any elven text before the Tower's Age. The ancient root word is related to Haralan. Or opposition. And Helathen. Or noble struggle. The Dalish call Fen Harel. A god of deception but I posit a more a far more accurate translation would be a god of rebellion what he rebelled against is a story lost to time in Dalish legends Fen Harel seals away the other deities out of love of trickery if we understood more elven more ancient elven we might find earlier versions of the Dreadwolf's story give him a more nuanced motivation beyond spite. From the from a treaty of the pagan and heretical customs of the elven by Senelen Tav Tavernier Tavernier Okay, by Senelen Tavernier of the University of Orlais commissioned by Empress Selene. Why would this be something wrong. Yeah. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves hmm. away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum 
is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. <laughs> My clan had been wrong, My clan set statues of the Dread Wolf outside our camp. They're meant to frighten harmful spirits. Perhaps. I thought the ancient elves above quaint superstitions. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise do not mistake one for the other. Pray tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. <laughs> oh, you made such a cute couple. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can study this we later. Send for historians once peace is brought to this forest. The inhabitants of this temple may not appreciate guests. They may not, but by the time we get out of here, they might be dead. Because, well. The Templars are kind of fighting every one of them on their way in. And Corypheus is trying to get in too. Mm -hmm. Boom. Is that Samson? Hold them off! I think that's Samson. The Hall of Shrines. No, I must loot. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. An army fights and dies for us. The longer we tarry, the more soldiers we lose outside. Let's jump down and be done with this place. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. Are you certain? We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. But you know nothing about it. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it. Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said oh. a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What's the boon and the price? 
What exactly did that author say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The Fair. term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Hmm. Weird. Of course it's a price. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. <sighs> I don't think the elves were all about human sacrifice, so... It does beg... Then again, they also carved up their leader who trapped them in... Um, I just remembered that one temple I've been in that was kind of horrifying and... Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. There is no... I'm not going to abandon them. I'm trying to backtrack. Where's the back? Turn once we leap after the Templars. Okay, that is hole down there. Is this stairs? This is stairs. Right? Wait, um, crap. I'm not following him down yet. I'm backtracking to my loot. I knew there was loot back here. Intense red lyrium. Admittedly, I'm only doing this for the gold. I'm pretty sure I'm, yeah, getting really, really full on items. So I'm really just doing this for the gold. Ooh. Plus, the more of those essences and researchables I get, the more... Money. I mean, the more, the more damage I deal against the enemies. Where are we in the temple? Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? It may have served as a chamber of reflection. Perhaps to contemplate the righteousness of one's cause. More importantly, I suspect none were permitted beyond this area without a priest. Oh, okay. Ancient texts claim Mathal passed judgment in the flesh, but it was surely the priests who proclaimed rulings here. Well, the rituals. Why did the ancient elves insist on so many rites? We may safely assume one did not petition high priests for Mathal's justice by strolling up and knocking. I see no more insufferable ceremony here than in a chantry. Okay, fair. Um, what are these rituals? More rituals. What are they for, do you know? I believe they signify an intent to lay oneself bare, to champion a cause without pity, regret, or shame. Mathal's cult was not fond of vacillation. One approached them hmm. with nothing less than complete confidence. Oh, okay then. What am I sure? To those who were less sure of themselves? Legend does not say. Perhaps this place has a more gruesome history than we know. Hmm. And here everyone's always revered the ancient elves. Who are okay, but you You've seen the elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two. These are old. The second. Okay, so. True. Implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth. 
Almost anything. Kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be why. why? I want to discuss the well. the well again. Oh, I see. An opportunity to use the well may not even arise. I understand. Okay. All I meant to suggest is that if it does. I be the one to do so. I am willing to accept the consequences. What about your son? What if something happens to you? What about your son? Kieran is a strong lad. He will thrive, with or without me. Are you sure of that? I am sure of precious little these days. Wow. All right. Yeah, I guess if you didn't have her son, you wouldn't get these responses. She'd be very different. Um, well, let's do some rituals, shall we? I'm Dalish after all. I'm my keepers first. Who sometimes knows a lot about Elvish and sometimes knows very little. Oh, right, I'm here. Ah, fudge. Hold on, hold on. This one might be more of a puzzle. That was weird. It, my headset cut out the audio and like my left ear. No, wait, hold on. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a tricky one. Here. 
I have no idea what it looks like in there. But let us assume... I did it! Indeed. Time to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. Okay, now I want to explore. It felt like there was something back here. Mm, nope, just the Arbor of Blessing over on that ledge. Tis strange. They call these rituals, but it's more just walking around doing a puzzle. I say that because in Dragon Age Origins, which I have no choice but to compare this game to, we actually performed rituals. That felt more like rituals than whatever it is these are. Calm down, glowing platforms. Calm down. Okay. I think this is actually really simple. Yep, there we go. Is complete. We are close. So it is simple. Is but one more path to follow. What do you mean one more? I see two. Oh wait, right. One of those is the hole. My bad. One of those is the hole. I only have three of these to complete. Hmm. I like how the options are: race ahead if you're impatient, or you know, do actual gameplay and solve these puzzles. As though they knew people would be impatient playing their ridiculously long game. In which case, my argument would actually become don't make such a ridiculously long game. I just saw Mosaic. Song to Falun Din. Hmm. The people swore their lives to Falun Din, who mastered the dark that lies, whose shadows hunger, whose faithful sing, whose wings of death surround him, thick as night. Levanav Lethanavir, master of Scryer, be our guide through shapeless worlds and airless skies. Song to Falun Din, found in the temple of Mithal, author unknown. Who is this meant to be? Hmm? Fallon Dean, overseer of funerals and guide to the elven dead. I have heard the Dalish invoke him on their deathbed or before quests from which they expect no return. Hmm. Some of my clan did that. My clan's hunters asked for his blessing when we fought bandits. Our keeper taught them the prayers. I do not believe they sing songs about Fallon Dean's vanity. No. And once again, Sola says something suspicious. Tell me more. Do you know any legends? It is said Falun Din's appetite for adulation was so great, he began wars to amass more worshippers. The blood of those who wouldn't bow low filled lakes as wide as oceans. Methal rallied the gods once the shadow of Falun Din's hunger stretched across her own people. It was almost too late. Falun Din only surrendered when his brethren bloodied him in his own temple.
I never heard of that before. My clan never told a story like that about Falundin. The further the Dalis spread, the further their stories branch and grow. Never mistake them for arbiters of true elven culture. So, yeah. So, the more Sol is talked about all this, the more it becomes obvious that I think the rumors I've been hearing are true. Somehow he knew these ancient gods. And it also seems more and more likely that... Oh. Right. He sealed them away. That, that Fallon didn't seal them away. Sorry, not Fallon didn't, no. Um, Fen Harrell, that's what I meant to say. Fen Harrell sealed them away. Long ago. Solus knows far more than he should, is all I'm saying. I don't think he's normal. I'm starting to see why he doesn't appreciate the Dalish. Because the Dalish, the elves of the Dales, revere without second thought or hesitation. Those he fears. Okay. Hmm. Trixie. Okay, I clearly missed something, but I don't know what I missed. I thought that was all of them. Hold on. Is this more over here? It is more over here. Oh, this is a Trixie puzzle. Okay, let me try going around the other way. Wait, maybe. Oh, hold on. How do I get over there? Wrong button. I wanted to jump. Oh. Okay, so it is go over here. And then it's dropped down. Um. So we have to complete this entirely, then drop down over there. I have an idea. And then we go upstairs. Fill out these. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now then, what's the best way to tackle this? That looks pretty simple. Once you get down here. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. 
Hey. Hold on. I'm about to back myself into a corner. Hold it. There. 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 No, no, I know how to save it. Got it. Everything's okay. Left. So what now? Come, let us see if the doors have opened. Yes. Um. Ah, I see the path. I am curious. I want to know what um, Solus's connection is to the past. Is he an ancient elf from those ancient days? Woken from his slumber? Hence why he doesn't fear the spirit world? I have a feeling this is the right way. I don't feel jumping down is bad. I mean, it's good. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. Either way, we've done the ritual, so. Being watched. Holy cow, we're actually the elves. You. Are unlike the other invaders. You speak you normal. You have the features of those who call themselves Elven. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? Slumber? They woke up? They are my enemies. They are my enemies. I don't think being well smartass is good. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. Hmm. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vira Belasar. I don't know what that is. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's see now. Your actual ancient elves. I'm glad I saved. So, your elves from ancient times. Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan. The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven <laughs> warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary <laughs> closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called. Oh. And each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Vira Belisan must be preserved. They didn't... Really? Arlathan destroyed itself? What is the well? What is this Vira Belisan exactly? It is a path. One walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. Oh, right. Why does everyone always tell me that? Uh... The elves need you. That's the wrong answer. Uh, the elves need you! They are not the... He referred to me as those who call themselves Elvenan. Automatically. Wrong answer. Pretty sure. Um, hold on. Pretty sure... But I'm kind of curious. Um. Temple of Mythal. Oh, hold on. I better do Dragon Age. Inquisition. Temple of Mythal. The... Elves need you? No, oh, okay, I'll just read the rope pride head rod. If I just type that in, I've been fine. 
Um, Temple of Mithal, Temple of Mithal, Temple of Mithal, go away. Temple of Mithal, Temple of Mithal, Temple of Mithal. Temple of Mithal. Hall of Shrines. Crud, I missed several codex entries. I can go back and get them at some point, I bet. Um... Here we are, the Petitioner's Chamber. It doesn't tell me all this to not be told. Well. Let's do the elves need you. I'm probably going to be redoing this anyway, because I have to go back. Our people have lost everything. They need you. They could learn from you. Our people? The ones we see in the forest. Shadows wearing Valisleen. You are not my people. And you have invaded our sanctum as readily as the Shemlin. We knew this place was sacred. We've respected it as best we could. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these sentinels. Yeah! Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. Solos could be like these people. They were there for the fall of Arlathon. Um... Okay, I can't find it. I just need to... Wait. Well. Of. Well, that's if you didn't complete the uh, rituals. Proceed down the stairs and confront him. Raises to... Um... This is tricky. I'm not sure who to go with, but we will ally. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No, Morgan. Great. Okay, so we're going to do all that again. 
Hence why I'm glad I saved right before going through the door. Okay, so there are two more codex entries I did not notice. Creepy sounding. And I think they were with these... Shrines. Um... Just the Arbor Blessing. No, nope, that's also Arbor Blessing. There's supposedly two more entries, like the one we found of Falandin. Aha. Or not. That gets me every time it does that. Not sure why I can't just stay glowing. I guess this counts as the outer courtyard. Oh, what do you know? I missed this. How could I? The sturdy Battlemaster coat. Schematic. Hey, look! Cheese! That's gotta be some old cheese. Ow. Oh, there it is. It was right here all the time. All along. Each elven god represents an aspect of their ancient civilization. Each story a metaphor for this aspect. June's is, a, is least understood. Depictions stretch back to ancient Arlathan, but he appears most seldom of all their deities. Dalish legend says June is a god of crafts. And building... Of crafts and building. Sorry. Saw a message on my phone. I'm very easily distracted. But the oldest depictions have none of the tools the Dalish associate with him. Interesting. Curious, actually. June's role may have changed over time, or simply cannot be understood today. As the elves fell, ancient Tevinter sparked little thought to preserving any Dalish culture. Not convenient or understood. Hmm... From a treaty on the pagan and heretical customs of the Elven by Senelin Tavernier of the University of Orlais. Commissioned by Empress Celine. What, nothing on June? You commented on Felon Dean. Really? Huh. That's apparently nothing I can look at. There's supposed to be three in here, and I thought I only got one. So now I have two. The third has to be somewhere up here. Is it you? In here. No.
Wow. I'm confuzzled. I'm supposed to have three entries. Also, can we speak of those elves a little bit? How they mention, like, oh no, every time we go to sleep and wake up, the world's a little more changed. It's like, no duh, you went to sleep for a very long time and you came back. Basically through forward tra time travel. Andruil. Wait a minute. Okay, so, interestingly, I can just walk forward through the door and go right into the chamber, or, hold on, I didn't find hers, did I? Codex, history, Um, is that history or is it more lore? Hmm. Elven God Andrew. Number 43. No. Tails. 43. No. Maps, letters and notes, 43. Hold on. It's confusing how this all reads. 43 plus 6. Six. No. Tails? 
It must be there. I think. Oh, cool. I can purchase it. But it's still a good thing I came back. Will you abandon these rituals, Inquisitor? Think carefully. There is no return once we... After the Templars. Okay, so I've done... As they wanted. At last. Let's find this well and go. I've done as they wanted. And now I can go through here... And get some more... Secrets, as well as kill these guys. It's kind of interesting. It's an exploit built into the game. A broken filter. Hi! Where'd you come from? I do think it's very strange that I could walk through here after doing all those uh, rituals. So hopefully this isn't too long, but there are supposed to be... Um, codex entries down here. Which is why I wanted to come down here. That's a barrier I can break. That's a door. Like, you can break the barrier. Or just walk through the door, you know. Either or. Don't walk away just because you're having trouble with me. Coward. Okay, they can take care of it. I'm going to take care of this looting. They'll do the rest of the fighting. Now look at this. Veil fire. You guys handle that out there. I'm gonna take care of whatever's in here. I shouldn't be too long. I'll be right out with you. Aha! Thank you, untranslatable elven writing. That's the second piece of writing I've found that's untranslatable elven and writing. Thank you. I'm just gonna take that. Thanks, guys. You did great. Good work. Where are we? Do you know what this part of the temple is used for? It is difficult to say. Corypheus's people clearly accessed some manner of tunnel. This place seems less a simple temple and more a complex or a fortress. Huh. Like Skyhold. But with more ambushes. You can always rectify that upon return, Inquisitor. Ah, perfect. Let's continue. As you wish. This is giving me ideas. Everyone! From now on, more ambushes. Yes. 
I'm sure they'll be thrilled to hear that. Eric, you're up. Hmm. Thank you. My eyes. Oh, dang. Ah. Uh. Eric! Door! Good, good. Door. Well, this accomplished nothing. Absolutely nothing. We should search the area. Really? What is secret lever? Hmm, secret lever. Oh. Aha! More unreadable of writing. They're probably going to give me more veil fire when they want me to read it, but... Meh. That looks impressive, doesn't it? All the flashy moves, lights going everywhere. If you could see what I'm actually doing for fighting in combat, you would not think it was impressive at all. In all honesty, it's rather pathetic. It's almost as though they put the barriers and holes here, just in case you came down here looking for a fight. And you didn't bring a single mage with you. Hmm? Hmm? Ah. Loot. Loot. Thank you. Almost missed that. I don't know. There's catacombs and catacombs and catacombs and... More catacombs, and look, I'm gonna go back in here even though I shouldn't because I've already been here, apparently, according to my map. I have been here, according to my map. More elf fruit somehow growing underground in a dungeon with no soil and no... Well, okay, there's soil, but no light. What's that? One second. I'm looting. Box. Take whatever that was. Yes. Let's continue. 
I want to jump, That's not ask you a question. Ah, here we go. Gold. Hi. Guys, fight him. Ah, oh, man. You made me drop it. I don't know if I'm going to come into other unreadable elven writing. How dare you make me drop my thing that lets me see things I can't read. Let's find another way through. It's almost as though those arrows are pointing the way, or the bowmen with the who would shoot the arrows are pointing the way. Ha! That is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Okay, we're gonna skip. You have the features of those who call them a lot of this. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They're my enemies. I am cool. We wait. They I know wait. They want to kill me so. and it all enemies. It is not for you. But it is not for any of you. He could have been more specific and said, "It's not for anyone, save those who f are servants of Methal." So your elves from ancient. We ask questions, same answers, special, the Vera back, must be preserved. what is well, well is this. That you need not know. Probably should have told us and be more easily understood. The elves need you. Our people have lost everything. They need you. They could learn from you. Our people? The ones we see in the forest, shadows wearing Valisleen. You are not my people. And you have invaded our sanctum as readily as the Shemlin. We knew this place was sacred. We've respected it as best we could. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these sentinels. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also mm. need the well for your own. But why would I need the well? We will ally. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morgan! All right, well, we lost Morgan. She's gone on ahead. Hi. Oh, I could have just gone out the door. Well, now, don't I feel ridiculous? Hey, look, a door. Never mind. I cannot open the door unless I complete the rituals. And I've already completed the rituals. So I guess now I cannot open the door. They left someone behind. A handy guide, maybe. Mytholanast. That's helpful, since Morrigan chased off on her own. She seeks to protect the Well of Sorrows. Oh. Secret door. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to do that if I hadn't allied with them. This place looks untouched. The entire temple must have looked like this long ago. How could the elves pour such devotion into this nonsense? We can always ask our hosts. 
I will leave that to you. <laughs> I mean, come on. Cassandra, at this point, we're talking to elves from the time of before Arlathon. These are actual Elvenon. The actual people. Whenever one of the people wronged another, they would not call on Elgarnan to avenge them, for his fury would destroy all it touched. Mithal saw this bring strife among the people and went to Elgarnan. She offered to deliver justice when the people warred against, amongst themselves. Elgarnan saw her wisdom and agreed, binding all to abide by her verdicts. Some petitioning Mithal for justice hid jealousy, accusing those who had done them no wrong. She saw their lies and struck them down. Others petitioning Mithal for justice burned with wrath for imagined slights. She saw their weak hearts and struck them down. Those coming to her with clear minds and open hearts were granted judgment and protection, and Mithal harried their enemies until the end of their days. Story of the Elven God Mithal, author unknown. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. Long bow the griffin. I got loot. Okay, follow our guide. Henshra, Gilas Velathan. I believe she would prefer that we remain close. Just a quick look around. Sorry, I'm just. Look at this. There's mosaics. There's ancient secret writings. Gilanen kept herself apart from the people. She used her power to create animals none had ever seen. The skies teemed with her monsters. I'm sorry, dragons? Monsters? The land with her beasts. Andril hunted them all, and after a year of killing, approached Gilanane with an offer. The gods would share their power with Gilanane, but only if she destroyed her creations, for they were too untamed to remain among the people. Gilanane agreed and asked for three days to undo what she had made. On the first day, she struck down the monsters of the air, except those she presented to Andril as a gift. On the second day, she drowned the giants of the sea, except those in deep waters, for they were too well wrought, and pride stopped her hand. I'm sorry, there's monsters in the deep waters of this wa- You guys could have had me fighting a kraken, ah, or a sea monster, and I've never fought one in these games, ever. Feels like a missed opportunity. I want to fight a sea monster in Dragon Age now. On the third day, she killed the beasts of the land, except the Hala, whose grace she loved above all else. This is how Gilanane was made youngest of the gods. Story of the Elven God, Gilanane, author unknown. How'd she make animals? Sorry, one second. I'll be right there with you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Elgarnane. Elgarnan. I mean, Elgarnan. Wrath and thunder. Give us glory. Give us victory. Over the earth that shakes our cities. Strike the usurpers. With the usurpers. With your lightning. Burn the ground under your gaze. Bring winged death against those who throw down our work. Elgarnan. Help us tame the land. Song to Elgarnan. Found in the temple of Mithal. Author unknown. Mosaic of Dirthamen. Twins in shadow. Dirthamen and Falandin are linked in Dalish legend as inseparable twin brothers. Scraps of elven stories from 
after the fall of Arlathan, transcribed into De Winter, and recently lent to our fair university. Hmm, refer to them as twin souls, but draw no family connection. Intriguing. The oldest stories never even named them directly. Referring to Fallon Din as Durthamen's shadow, and Durthamen as Fallon Din's reflection. Weird. So we know they exist only because they were referencing each other. The little we understand implies their bond was not romantic. Beyond even the strongest friendship. The legends of Durthamen and Fallon Din may have been an allegory for complex elven relationships. We lack context, comprehend. Ha! Lack context! <laughs> Moirail. They were each other's Moirails. Those who love Homestuck will know what I'm talking about. The Quadrants. From a Treaty of the Pagan and Heretical Customs of the Elven by Senelin Tavernier of the University of Valais, commissioned by Empress Celine. All right, I got another thing. Aha! Loot. Don't mind me, I'm just taking all your gold. You don't seem to have a use for it, right? Oh, look at this. There's pouch. Why is there pouch? There was no debt. There was no enemy. Why was there pouch? Hello, I am here. Why you carry a book? Oh. Templar dead. More ancient elven writing. Man, this place has so many riches. I see a lever I can't pull. Oh. Are you dropping these things? Or are these the remnants of those who die out there? Because of ridiculousness. Yep, they died, and so their stuff came to me. Cool. I mean, oh man, I lost out on the experience. Hmm. I kid, I don't need experience anymore. I have more experience than I know what to do with. I can't even level up anymore. Well, at least I bypassed the fighting. Let's be time to explore rooms. These are actually gilded halls. They actually gilded the halls with gold. Mosaic of Celes. Celes, whose heart rivals Elgarnan's light. Celes, whose temples rival Mithal's cities. Celes, whose breath rivals Andril's spear. Celes, whose skill rivals June's craft. Celes, whose fire cannot be quenched. We give ourselves gladly to your service. Song to Celes, found at the Temple of Mithal, author unknown. Why would this be in the Temple of Mythal? That's weird. One second. Oh, never mind. Please get me past that fighting. Yep, I knew it. She's getting me past the fighting. Where? Other side of wall. Hold on, me safe here. The sentinels are holding off the Red Templars. 
Glad we're not between them. Fier sumir. Okay. I'm going to wait and go through this door when all the fighting's done. I'm just waiting, just chilling here. I also saw a weird ad that apparently did a game with a crossover between Phoenix Wright and some guy I'd never heard of. Okay, they're finally dying. I think. Ah, crud. <sighs> oh, wait. Was that it? If that was it, then I don't have to go in that room at all. Hold on. Let me double check this. That was it. Okay, I got the writing. It's hard to or it's hard. It's hard to see them, easy to miss because the writings don't glow like ancient runes do. Runes that you reveal with uh fade fire glow. But the ancient elven writing for some reason doesn't glow. So I'm not exactly sure if there is any, unless I hear the ping. And even then, I don't know where to look for the ping. Okay. And gold. Why'd she stop? I don't understand. I don't get it, so I'm going to assume this is where I need to be. I need to go through this door. Wow, that was a mighty dramatic fall. I kill him and he immediately goes, SPIN! Die! Not even sure I hit him that hard. Okay. Keep walking. 
I'm pretty sure this is the right way because she stopped moving. And in fact, has now also disappeared. But she did guide me through a bunch of rooms with a lot of codex entries. And gold. That's the better thing. Like, I'm glad I got all the codex entries. I really did am because... It saves me money when I have to buy them. But, it got me a bunch of gold! Hello. Ah, oh, the Well of Sorrows. The Well of Sorrows. Yes, O Mithal endures. Andraste, guide us. So Mithal endures? Really? Um. Fight An army of these bosses won't stop us! So, let's you gonna. get to the well, General! Tell me you brought So, are you gonna tell me how you know all these things you know? Yikes! You tough bastard. The day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. Maddox is dead. I spoke with your tranquil, Maddox. He sacrificed himself for your cause. I told him not to. He died as one of us then. One of the faithful. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. Well, that's what they mean by the vessel. The well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus. That he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. You're a vessel? What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. He'll cast you aside. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that to my face? After you butchered my men? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now. With a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go? Boom! I got a room! That was all well and good until it's taken away. I destroyed his armor. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> armor. It's gone. Lyrium! I need it! Kill them all! <laughs> I learned how to destroy your armor. I'm kind of indestructible, guys. Nothing you do can stop me. I'm just gonna lose this while I'm at it. Dude, Samson, you are really tough. All this leveling up I've done, and still, you are really... Ow. Hold on. Uh, keep them busy.
Whoa! What? Where am I? I do. But you're kind of down there. Oh. He keeps getting bigger! There we go. You can't take it from Corypheus. You mustn't. He's still breathing. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. Acquired certainty. I acquired certainty. Heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. Yeah, uh. So the sanctum is despoiled at last. What's the point? You would have destroyed the well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. This is what I've been trying to decide on. I got a glimpse that we was going to come down to this. And now I still don't know what I'm going to do. Ugh. Do I... Um... I don't know. Apparently they say this is the most difficult choice. Okay, whoever drinks from the well will hear the voices of Mithal's servants, and they are the ones who give the drinker knowledge. They are the ones that reveal how to defeat Corypheus, and also give the Inquisitor the ability that, to command a dragon, or... Really? I can command a dragon? Or Morgan the knowledge on how to shapeshift into one. In tres okay, that's trespasser stuff. Uh, a danger to the well is that the drinker loses the, their free will. Okay. Oh, 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 that's big. Um... Oh, jeez. Okay, um... Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, 
He will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. But it's already not used, so what's the point of it even existing? But... Hmm... Um... Okay. Okay, these all make good arguments. I'm just reading all the arguments without giving you guys spoilers, but it's, um... It's interesting. But I'm going to give you one spoiler. It might boil down to which is cooler. Um, owning a dragon or shape-shifting into a dragon?
Um. Ah, uh, I know I said dragon, but I'll ah, take it. The narrative. Ah, the narrative is the hardest part here. Do we want Morrigan to be? Mm. Okay, so I think I already read this part. Whoever drinks of the well becomes bound to Mithal. So do we want Morrigan, who sought to get not bound to Flemeth, only to get bound by Mithal? Or do we want the Inquisitor to get bound to Mithal? It's better that knowledge remain in the well, never passed on. You'd rather destroy it. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vir of Elisan as best you can? To fight your enemy? Um, I know I keep stalling, but again, I'm getting closer and closer to this decision. What of the price? Gifts like this don't come freely. No boon of Mithal was ever granted without cost. Here it is, the cost. The fear of Elisan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Hmm. Investigate. What happened to Mithal? Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Vera Balasan remains, as do we. That is something. Murdered? New information has, un er has been unearthed. Where will you go? Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shemlin have not touched. It may be that only Euthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. Uh... Fight Corypheus with us? You could come with us. Fight Corypheus. He killed your people. We killed ourselves long ago. Oh. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. What did he say? What did he say? Ah, oh, darn this elven. His name, Abalas, means sorrow. I said, I hope oh. he finds a new name. Oh, thank you. Well, he answered my question. You'll note the intact Illuvian? I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, 
and Mathal's last alluvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Interesting. Huh. Um, eh, eh, eh. that's not good. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. Oh, I still can't decide I on what to do. To pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends. What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. Investigate. You alone have the training? You alone. This is my heritage. Yeah. I have studied the oldest law. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Hey. Can you honestly tell me that's where you get knowledge? Dreams. That's where you get knowledge. Dreams. Better suited. Yeah. Uh, solace. So myself. Solace. Myself. Solace. Myself. Solace. Myself. Solace. What about you, Solace? No. Do not ask me again. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. uh, ah. Um. Okay, um... Well of Sorrows... Hold on... Well of Sorrows... Um...
Sense the wall holds on. Okay. Really? Okay, this is what I was also looking for. All that text I've been I've been uncovering. If Morrigan drinks from it, I don't get to see it. I have to drink of it in order to read those. So I'm just gonna read them right now to see if they're uh, worth it. Because I can't tell what the better choice is. I mean, is there any reason to have these? I don't know. I don't know what choice to make. Ah, decision paralysis is my crippling weakness. I'll be right back. I'm getting some cheese. I want to think. Should only take a minute.
I'm back. Just finishing up my cheese and looking through my Steam achievements. Hmm. Apparently there's one. Wow. Here. I just realized how many I've got. Look at this. Woo! Achievements! Hmm. 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 So somebody mentioned in a forum the achievement on burning wings is somehow connected to this. And it's very vague. Recruit a powerful ally to even the score. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well, that is a dick move. Well, So then, okay, so. This is a dick move. I don't know. I don't know who's better suited, and neither do you. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. What about the price? You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. Perhaps nobody should use it? I hate to say it. But Abelas's plan to destroy the well may be the best one. What happens when Corypheus comes for you again? He is immortal. The wisdom of the well may include a way to destroy him. Give me this and I fight at your side. I shall be your sword. Here it is. It just flashed. The last thing determining what I do will be approval. There's a lot of variables. Uh, 
Okay, so... Something about telling a... A no... Skipping the... Let's see, no... Skipping the... We didn't skip the rituals. Completing them. Uh, allying with the Sentinels. Uh, not allying with the Sentinel. Destroying the armor. Calpurnia. I don't know if we even encountered this person. Unless that's the other possible enemy. Uh, suggesting to destroy the well. Get the Inquisitor drinks from the well. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Morgan drinks from the well. Just looking at who approves and disapproves of what. This is the choice. What does everyone else think? Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. Okay. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. You're asking me? This is a lot of weird... I barely understand how any of this works. <laughs> Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. Like, why are you asking me? I'm a dwarf. I don't know magic. This is the weird thing. Cassandra said let her take the risk. And then when you let her take the risk, she disapproves. I think they dropped the ball on that one. It's like two teams were just in complete non-communication. I know the well's danger. Looking at it, listening to it. That's not just knowledge from the ancient elven priests. It's their will. How would you know such a thing? That's what Abelas was telling us. The collective will of the priests puts anyone who drinks under a compulsion, a gas. Can't you feel it? That would match the legends, but it does not tell us what the gas entails. I would still use the well, but you are right. We must be cautious. Hey, there we go. But... <sighs> okay. Um... Uh, I hate when this I hate when decisions make my brain itch. Ah. Uh. Da.
Okay, here's what I'm struggling with. I know that Morgan doesn't want her will taken from her. But I want the achievement. I also don't get why Solus was yelling, she's a glutton at a feast. But then you let her drink from the well and he approves of it. it, it uh, the approvals don't make any sense. They're the exact opposite of what you would assume, which is bizarre. Uh... Morrigan has a son who needs caring for. Ah, I hate this decision. Okay. I kind of have to. If I want to get that achievement, I kind of have to do this. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste. It won't go to waste. And who's to say it will go to waste? I do. Perhaps it is better this way. Do as you will with the Well of Sorrows, Inquisitor. But be careful. Yeah, Morgan, you're not going... You wouldn't be... You're about to encounter something that you're going to be upset with. I'll just step in covered in blood. Yeah, that's not going to taint the well at all. Is that a yes or a no? I can't understand what you're... Look, will you help me or not? Inquisitor! Inquisitor!
What the? I took it again. The Illuvian. Through the mirror. Get everyone through, get everyone through. Who was that? Right? Okay, I've got what Pride had wrought. Cool. I'm not sure I did the right thing. Or maybe I did. I don't know. I don't know. Did I do the right thing? It is done. Okay. Huh, I wonder what her what key she had to use for hers was. We won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. He won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. I recognize that voice. I'd never forget it. It's voices whispering from so far away I can barely hear them. Oh, if only one who understood such voices had used the well's power instead. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them, and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spymaster? <laughs> I told Come you on, they know each other! Done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. Then help me. Isn't that what you came here to do? Earlier you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon isn't an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... There is a way, but I'll need Morrigan's help. The voices from the well tell you that, do they? Very no. well, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready to begin this plan of yours. Morgan hates being not in control. That's who she is. She likes being in absolute control of every circumstance. She hates not having that. I learned that in Origins. She must be in control. Because she never had much agency or control of her own life growing up. Under Flemeth. So, of course, she's a control freak. She wouldn't admit that. But she's totally a control freak. Certain? No. I don't think certain is the right word. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. Excellent. I'm going to look at my war table, because I have a lot of things to do there. What time is it? No, the Sentinel Elves. Codex. Ha. Elves ambushed us just when the Master said they would, five days into the wilds. They move faster than any elf I've seen. 
and they know the forest like they were born of it. The ones who escape melt back into the shadows. They're strong, and they know no fear. Every damn elf we cut down fights till the last. The attacks have slowed since we doubled the watch. We've killed enough to make them pause. Corypheus says the elves call themselves sentinels. We were going over the plan for the final assault on their temple, and he told me the elves were fighting. The elves we're fighting are the last true priests of their old gods. Before I could stop myself, I asked how he knew. I felt like a damn fool the moment the words left my mouth. But the master just looked at me, then opened his hand. A second later, the magic, that magic orb was floating over it. He told me it was Elvin, that events made him believe it came to him for a purpose. The master turned, and I thought I was dismissed, but his voice stopped me before I left. He said, solemn as I've ever known him, that there were many things he couldn't tell me, that he hid them so I would stay focused on the well. He said that while I'll sacrifice much, there will be no secrets once, I'm, once I've become the vessel. I left then, but I can't stop thinking about it. I'd swear there was regret in those last words. Wish I knew exactly what for. Charred excerpt from a logbook kept by Samson, recovered by Inquisition spies from the wreckage of a Red Templar camp in the Arbor Wilds. That should be Camp Singular. It's a Red Templar camp, not camps. The rest of the book is too blackened by fire to make out. Hmm. Intriguing. Ancient elven writing. This elven writing found in the Arbor Wild is so old there seems to be no way to learn what it means. There are whispers from the Well of Sorrows. It's impossible to understand the entire text. But certain parts suddenly reveal a shadow of their original meaning. His crime is high treason. He took on a form reserved from the go for the gods and their chosen, and dared to fly in the shape of the divine. The sinner belongs to Dirthamin. He claims he took the wing he claims he took wings at the urging of Gilanane, and begs protection from Methal. She does not show him favor, and will let Elgarnan judge him. For a moment, there is an image of a shifting shadowy ma mass with blazing eyes, whose form may be one or many, then it fades. Um, didn't I find more? Yeah, here we go. Unreadable elven writing. Veilfire writing from a ruin in the Arbor Wilds. The script is so ancient, it defies translation. There are whispers from the Well of Sorrows. It is impossible to understand the entire text, but certain parts suddenly reveal... A shadow of their original meaning. She took, she shook the radiance from the stars. Sorry, let me try that again. She shook the radiance of the stars, divided them into grains of light, then stored them in a shaft of gold. Andril, blood and force, save us from the time this weapon is thrown. Your people pray to you. Spare us the moment we become your sacrifice. There is a brief image of an elaborate golden spear, glowing with unbearable heat. Then it fades. This Veilfire script was hidden in the Arbor Wilds. It's so old, it cannot be translated into any known language. There are whispers from the Well of Sorrows. It's impossible to understand the entire text, but certain parts suddenly reveal a shadow of their original meaning. We are trapped. The ones born here do not understand the, need, the keenness of what we have lost, or why so many of their elders weep as they enter, as they enter 
Uthenera. The new ones are faithful to Mithal, but do not understand what she was in her fullness. Without the wise to lead them, they will lose what they should have been. I will teach them. They must serve. We must prepare for those who cast Mithal down. <laughs> I shed my name the day I began her sacrifice. I shed my name the day I began her service. I shed my new one again. Now that she rests, I will only be known by the sorrow that cuts my heart. Oh, it's what's his name? For a moment, there's a feeling of wrench, wrenching loss, then it fades. It's what's his name? What's his name whose name apparently means sorrow? <clears throat> and the last one. What, no, wait, no, not the last one. What pride had wrought. And as the black clouds came upon them, they looked on what pride had wrought and despaired. The work of man and woman, by hubris of their making, the sorrow a blight unbearable. Canticle of Threnodies, seven ten eleven. Seven ten through eleven. Pride! What other sin wounds us so deeply as pride? It drove the old Tavinder Magisters to blacken the Golden City. It pushed Maferath to betray beloved Andraste, and it has made fools of kings and peasants ever since the Maker formed us from nothing. Pride disguises itself in surety. Who among us has not looked at our fair country and thought, surely we are safe here, under protection? Our world will last forever, for we are mighty and wise. These verses. Hmm? Okay. These verses say to the faithful, go and look upon the ruins of the old. And ask who remembers the faces of those who dwelled there. Only the maker's knowledge is complete. The words he gave us, he gave to us through blessed Andraste, are the one true constant in our world. A land without the chant is doomed to be forgotten by time. Notes on the Chant of Light by Mother Bazoria of the Grand Cathedral, 937 of the Dragon Age. Yeah, and the Chantry has never, ever blotted out things from history. Okay. I thought I had four. I thought I found four. I don't know where the last one was. Oh, there it is. I overlooked it. Old oven writing. This oven writing found in the Arbor Wilds is so old as to be incomprehensible. There are whispers from the Well of Sorrows. It's impossible to understand the entire text, but certain parts suddenly reveal a shadow of their original meaning. In this place, we prepare to hunt the pillars of the earth. Their workers scurry, witless, soulless. This death will be a mercy. We will make the earth blossom with their passing. For one moment, there is a vivid image of two overlapping spheres. Unknown flowers bloom inside their centers. Wow. Exciting. Then it fades. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> It's all so cryptic. But one thing is certain. I have these things to take care of. Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens fought their way through the mountains. The demons were savage, but the Grey Wardens held them off with great determination. As a result, we have located Marquis Buffon's secret stronghold deep in the Gamordan Passet or Peaks. The Grey Wardens continue to fight bravely, but they have suffered many losses. I recommend deploying them with care, lest we lose them entirely. Yours, Lieutenant Suzanne Closec. Okay. I'll be careful. The consequences of Blackwall's lie. 
We have sent emissaries with formal apologies. We returned all that we could... All that could be returned, we paid in kind for what could not. Liliana will store the Grey Warden treaties in the Skyhold archives. In remembrance of mistakes made and lessons learned. Josephine. Okay. We have all these to do now. We'll be spread thin until the rest of our forces return from the Arbor Wilds. Of course. Okay, hold on. Unmask those across the sea requires Cullen and Liliana. And we want to do Liliana. I had our people remove the downward pointing triangular symbols from our outposts. They have not made a reappearance, which means little. It's clear someone has an interest in the Inquisition. Someone organized with ties to those across the sea. We've eliminated the Kunari as the most obvious suspects. Nonetheless, knowing who they're not does not tell us who they are. What they're doing or why. They're clever. We know that. And they have resources. But so do we. And they should learn that they are not to toy with the Inquisition. Alright, we'll do Liliana here. Liliana. Now then, all we have left is Josephine and Colin. So, this is the name of our enemy. Which I believe was Dorian's quest. I think if I remember correctly, I wanted Josephine to do this. <coughs> Sorry. No. I wanted Liliana to do this. Anyone can do it, but thematically it just seems more interesting to have Liliana do it. Ow! My arms! Why did the sneeze hurt my arms? Uh, okay, this down here. Defeat Marquis Buffon. They suffered a lot of losses. I need to not use the Grey Wardens in the next one. Okay. Inquisitor. We have Marquis of Efeloch. Efeloch Buffon. Trapped in her fortress in the Gamorden Peaks. And are preparing to make a final assault. While we might earlier have ignored her transgressions. In light of the greater threat to the world. It is good that we did not. Marquis Buffon's crimes go well beyond smuggling or illegal mining. And she has an ally in Lady, G Lady Ginette. Ginette? Ginette, I think it is. Ginette Legasp. Who has come with Venatory Mages to defend the Marquis. Oh, that's bad. The Wardens have concerns about the Venatory using blood magic on, or their ties to Corypheus to influence their minds 
but are prepared to follow your orders. We cannot delay for long, as demons in the mountains continue to harass our flanks. Please send your orders. With no choice to send the wardens in, they must be prepared to fight whatever... Uh, if the wardens can hold up the demons for three days, my friend Baroness Natalie de la Souche will have siege equipment there to bring down that fortress. Oh, okay. Well, let's try Josephine. Let us begin. Research the Well of Sorrows. Bring Samson to Skyhold for judgment. Okay. Research the Well of Sorrows. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, re... or... yeah, okay, research. The Well of Sorrows was constructed in unspeakably ancient times. There may be slivers of information left in elven legends or crumbling papers. In far-flung libraries. Send people to research how ancient elves made this strange artifact. Written treatises on forbidden magic for ages. Some of the findings. Okay. Colin. To work? Yes, to work. What? You thought you were going to get a break? Hold up. Start the purge of Wycombe's elves! Yay, Nightingale! We brought the Dalish forces into the city. They joined with the resistance group formed by the elves living in Wycombe and struck at Duke Antoine and the Red Lyrium supplies that had been placed in the city's wells. When the Red Lyrium was shown to the human merchants and, lo and laborers, they quickly joined with the Dalish and city elves. The fighting was short but brutal, culminating in the deaths of Duke Antoine and his personal retinue. Which included Venatori agents. Ah. Most of Wycombe's nobles have fled the popular uprising. And now claim this was an elven uprising that killed a beloved ruler. For now, however, the Dalish are seen as heroes in Wycombe. They remain in the city, uncertain of what to do next. Gesture. Well, right then. Oh. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Well, in a few minutes. Okay, 22 minutes. Okay, maybe longer than that, because Liliana's gone. I don't know what to do next, but I do know... I should definitely clear out my inventory, because I am full up. And I suppose one could argue... Wait, what? Oh, cool. That I'm... Lucky that I didn't have to discard anything considering my inventory is at exactly full. Now, first things first, where is Solus? Solus? Solus, there you are. I'm going to uh, safe. There we go. Why did you do it? I warned you not to. Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god. Mm, meaning? What does that mean exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Everything you do, whether you know it or not, will be for her. You have given up a part of yourself. Ah, uh, but what does the... Mm, I'm still myself, I think. Okay, hold on. Soulless approval. Because... This is important. Maybe. It might be important. It might not mean anything. I don't know. Um, you have g 
Yeah, hmm. Why does... Here we go. Okay, um... Meaning, slightly approves. I'm still myself, he doesn't like that. Why do you care so much? Why does it bother you? Slightly approves, it's done. Why does it bother you? You don't even believe in the ancient elven gods. I don't believe they were gods, no, but, but I believe that they existed. Oh! Something existed to start the legends. If not gods, then mages. Or spirits. Or something we've never seen. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? Uh... Let's see, make the world better is... Slightly, Bruce. One thing at a time. If you don't like that, uh, I'll rely on those I trust. Uh, slightly disapproves of that. But it leads to another option where it's a slightly approved. So that's completely neutral. Or just a flat out disapproval with two slightly disapproves. Or just a slightly disapprove. Or I'll restore what was. I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna. I'm curious to know what was. Use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. Ah, oh, that's good. I like that you one. Would put things back the way they were before. Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For what? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have impressed me. You honor the past. And work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power. That at least we may still recover. Yes. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Maybe. Um... Oh, well, nothing happens. Why does it sound like you're leaving? You planning to leave before we take down the bad guy? No, but there may not be a later. It seemed wise to say my goodbyes now. Oh, that sounds like my last conversation with him. Wait, I'm turned around. Uh, this way, here we go. Okay, so that was a good conversation to have. Um, I haven't gotten you your book yet. Hold on. Calm down, birds. Night helmets removed. That is at his discretion. I have nothing further to add. Of, of course. Damage bonus against Red Templars. Code accepted. Red Templar Knight. That was it. I had more than that. I had filters and all kinds of things. But it only took out the night helmets. Where do you go, Liliana? Liliana! You okay? You don't look okay. I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? What would you do as divine? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. Your support of the Mage Rebellion was a good start. We must build on this. No more circles. The Mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, Dwarves, even Kunari. Why exclude them? 
The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. Well, I've been supporting her the entire time. But let, let me think. Yeah. I think you would make a good divine. I am glad to hear it. A little crazy, but yeah. The may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. The Chantry was a beacon of hope to me once, you know. In my years at Lothering's Chantry, we turned no one away from our doors. It was a refuge, a place of peace. I felt the Maker's presence and his love even when they told me he'd left us. This is the Chantry I know, the Chantry I wish the world to see. That's not the Chantry I know. Well, neither the Chantry. Keep dreaming, sister. Uh. Oh, okay. The world could certainly use the force for good you describe. Yes, the Chantry should be a force for good instead of what it is. The Chantry dictated where it should have inspired. It spoke of judgment instead of acceptance. It should encourage the good in everyone, rather than rebuke us for our sins. No one should be turned away from our doors. No one is without worth. Whoever you are, whatever your mistakes, you are loved. Unconditionally, in your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame. Sorry, I was stunned that she just quoted, in quoting the chant, she also was talking about, I mean, basically she described actual Christianity. Whee! Ow. Okay, so I did a main quest, so that of course means I must now... Wander around Skyhold. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an ancient rune where yep. you consumed a pool of elven elfiness. Well, I am an elf. Through a mirror and yes. wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? Yes. I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? Wait, uh, Red Lyrium, personal question. Uh, Bianca. Uh, Bianca. Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. Sure. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. Really? If it got back to the guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Wow. Maybe not in that order. What did you do? I mean, you've done a lot. What specifically did you do? What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. Oh. How do you know Bianca? How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. Oh, she's married, huh? Bianca is married. Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarfs, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. Wow. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. Actually showed up for? Did Bianca make your crossbow? Alright, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? 
I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. Oh. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. Oh, okay, the story you can't tell. You begin to you've been together how long? How long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We oh. write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's together. Shit. It's been what? Fifteen years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. You're welcome. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. Stop pacing behind me. Freaking me out. I just realized I think that I just saw Varric's chair. Save. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. He returns, we'll face him. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful. I won't. And you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. His number two was nothing. I don't think he'll be anything. You're probably right. It wouldn't be any fun if all this was over so soon. Corypheus believes himself Soon! Pride alone demands he not slink off into the shadows. I have faith you will be victorious even so. Soon? Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. Don't jinx it. We still have to beat Corypheus. I have not forgotten. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. Okay, I'm glad I talked to Liliana first. That allowed me to resolve this without having to make the difficult delivery to everyone else. Where am I? Oh, wait. I'm up here. I didn't know I was over here. I can easily talk to Colin first, or next, then. Keep saving. Hi. The wall before me is shadow. Now I'm down here. The maker be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the beyond. For there is no darkness in the maker's light. And nothing that he has wrought shall be lost. A prayer for you? For those we have lost. And those I am afraid to lose. Ah. Well, afraid to lose? You're afraid? Of course I am. Corypheus possessed that Grey Warden at Mithal. What more is he capable of? It's only a matter of time before he retaliates. We must draw strength wherever we can. When the time comes... You will be thrown into his path again. And trust they preserve me. I must send you to him. I have good luck. There's nothing to worry about. I have luck on my side, remember? <laughs> Aww. It's less comforting than I don't. Because he gave her his coin. Aww. Is that an order, Commander? No. But as one of your advisors, I strongly recommend it. Ah, got it. <laughs> if you say so. What the? Oh. 
I've already gotten that. Ah! Haunted book! Floating book! Ah! Okay. Creepy. Poor thou. Oh, that was nothing. Um. Tis a book. Morgan is nowhere to be seen. Fairbanks is wandering around here for some reason. Hello. Vandalaria. 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 Blood Lotus. Blood Lotus. Blood Lotus. Stop completing the quest. It's already completed. That's ridiculous. Uh, okay, I still need to talk to like half of my crew still. But I don't see a reason why I can't just wander down here. Then I can fast travel over to Blackwall. This is where it's been. After I've sold all my stuff. I can't remember if I've finished these or not. I need Death Root. And Blood Lotus. I somehow bypassed the Rage 2 requirement. Don't ask me how. I don't know. Oh, wait, I know. The game's bugged. Horribly bugged. Tremendously bugged. I need more vent. I... Oh, wait, no. I used Vandalar. I used it in other stuff. That's right. Um... Boom, bang. I'm going to go over here. And... Nope, not here. Um, wait. Here, at the big post of buying and selling things. Okay. Cassandra. Marcusel, 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 Marcusel. Marcuse, Marcusel, Malacusa. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Okay. Next up is Mage Staff. Let's try a different mage. Ah, yes, okay. Let me see. You are 128. You are 156. Okay, so my weakest mage... 160. Seems to be Dorian. I'll use him as a benchmark then. Boop, boop, boop. One of the Dez and a Black Cutter. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. All of those. Sarah. Sunbow. Sunbow. Ornate longbow, the last word. Uh. So. Sixty four. Sixty four. Cool. Um, helmets. All the common helmets. All the common helmets. All the common guitars. All the common everything. Um, just everything common. Everything common. I can make better things than this. And I'm not even going to bother because there's no point. All of this is awful. I can make better Okay, this will be faster. So that, so that. So that, that, and that. So that.
Cullen's already done. Awesome. Give me all the gold. I have to go buy Valroyo next. I'm so close to the end that there's no point in holding on to most of this. All of this. I started holding on to all the extra stuff constantly just because... Um... Of what happened in the hinterlands where I all of a sudden was not able to complete a quest. No, I don't care. I'm almost at the end. Still feel like these are important for some reason. How am I doing? Nice! I can do better. Better, better. Better, 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 better. Inventory. And storage. I know I have some lyrium sigils in here. Wow, that's a lot. There we go. Sigil of Lyrium. I'm not trying to step on your toes, you know. Wait, no. Modify. Modify armor. What am I wearing if I'm... Vestments of the pure. Oh. I can't... I can't modify those. Um, inventory... Armor... Souls? I went the wrong way. Take a while to load him. There we go. Okay. I suppose I'll give him Plus 50% barrier, minus 50% health. Okay. Sure. Worst comes to worst, I can destroy that. By worst comes to worst, I mean if... Sola starts dying more than I'd like. I can destroy it. Mm. I'll be back. I'll talk to you in a moment, Josephine. First, let me get this settled. Colin finished his mission so I can have him sent out on another mission.
There it is, down there. Research the Well of Sorrows. Inquisitor, I must take our take over our investigation into the Well of Sorrows. Dozens of antiquarians and historians are begging us for the results. There have been several attempts to steal our research. While we have nothing conclusive, the research has proven useful in negotiations with interested scholars, and we should guard it accordingly. Bloodyana. Cool. Influence and Sentinel Plate. Bring Samson to Skyhold for judgment? This one probably doesn't matter. I mean, I'm just making a guess here, but I'm pretty sure this quest is... Bring Samson to Skyhold for judgment. We'll be ready to make our move soon, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I will have Samson brought to Skyhold. Inquisitor. When Corypheus rushed from the Temple of Mythal, he left his general for dead. My soldiers and I captured Samson with ease, given that he was still unconscious from your fight. While it will take the army some time to return from the wilds, we can expedite Samson's return in order to put him on trial. If you've no objections, I would be present for his judgment. Cullen. Commander Cullen. Our release and allies have offered to return Samson under the heaviest of guard. They're eager to see him face justice. Samson has given us no end of trouble. I would keep him unconscious with sleeping drafts while we transport him here. Samson has earned an armed escort. Guarded in a wagon, which our fastest horses will pull back to Skyhold. Cohen! All right. One, two, three. Cool. So 11 minutes for Colin. 19 minutes for Josephine. And two hours for Liliana. We're not doing any of Liliana's things. If I want Leliana to do the name of our enemy, then I'm going to need to spend the others doing these two if I can, unless they're also Leliana quests, in which case I'll need to do the fastest ones possible tomorrow. So I'll be determining them based on speed of completion rather than prioritizing which um, commander, which advisor. I got fentanyl plate. Is it worth it? It's plate, it said, so I'm assuming heavy armor? No. No. What do you know? It's not terrible, but it's worse than mine. Then again, I got the vestments of the pure out of a DLC, so it's no wonder I can't die. That coupled with my scepter of the untouchable. Inquisitor? I guess I'll go upstairs. I guess I should talk to Dorian. Holy cow, I'm talking to Dorian. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tabinta. Once this is done, if we're still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. What about this on? How does this relate to the Elven Temple? Yeah. You encountered ancient elves. A piece of history. Something the Imperium didn't destroy. Maybe my people can atone for what we've done. There is something still left to restore. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. 
You're that much greater than I am? Well, impressive. Well, you could do great things. Someone with your impeccable taste could transform to Vinter. I hope you're right. You usually are. Thank it you. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. Ah, whoa, you're what? shaping the world for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Devinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. Okay. Hi. Something you need? Nope. I should go. As you wish. Just thought I should talk to everybody. I should talk to Solus one more time too. Wow, I didn't even flinch. My friend. Never mind. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Um. Right, Vivian. I should talk to Vivian before I leave. Uh, my main keep area. There we go. Area. Area, area. And save again. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? Yes. How do you feel? It's not every day one absorbs ancient elven magic. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, the fuck? I can never guess what she wants to hear. You'd think she'd be easy to guess. I can't. I usually end up pissing her off. Why do we say piss off anyway? Doesn't it make you more angry to be pissed on than pissed off? And how does someone piss off somebody? Does that mean they're standing on my shoulders and pissing? So many questions, so little time. Uh, the, the, and approval. Okay. I feel great. There we go. All right, a little worried. That makes sense. Actually, between the voices and the binding oath to a possibly demonic power, I'm a bit concerned. Wise of you, Inquisitor. We cannot guess at what the lasting effects of the well might be. The Circle had little information about elven magic to begin with. Perhaps I'll speak to Dorian. Rest assured, we will find a way to circumvent whatever bargain you've made. Cool. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike hmm. against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. Ah, cool. Uh, hi. My dear, did you need me for something? Maybe? Never mind. Apparently I did not. Um, fastest way down. Whee! Ow. I'm fine. It's only a precipitous drop from a... Wait, no. A danger drop from a precipitous elevation. Where am I going? Bull, buddy! Why is my bard not playing anything? So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. Heck yeah. One more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. So apparently the answer to killing Corypheus is kill everyone. Nice. Thanks for your help. It's been an honor, Bo. Oh, don't get like that. This isn't goodbye. We're kicking this guy's ass. Are we tomorrow finally ending this game? Is that I love these guys. Really what's gonna happen? Am I really almost done? Should I have talked to Sarah first? Maybe. Cole! Corypheus died. And then he didn't. Yep. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. Oh, wait. We're back to approvals. So, Cole. 
Uh, it's... Oh, wow. He only has, like, four it's. it's uh, a little odd, actually. Oh. Oh, no approval changes. Cool. You and me both. So did I. Corypheus seems to break a lot of rules. But is it him? Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not... Could I have saved the real Cole? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I hardly understand any of this myself. His hands were bruised from beating on the wall. It was dark, like the cabinet where he hid to escape his father. His belly hurt like knives, throat cracked dry. He was alone. I pushed through and held his hand. It was all I could do. He said, Thank you. Thank you. I like this version of Cole. That was really cool. The whole... If, wow, that was quite the aim. His hand... Uh, I, I pushed through and held his hand. He said, thank you. And then Cole just says, thank you. To me, that was so cool. How am I still missing bottles on the wall? Sarah, you oh, freaking out? There. Listen, stand there, right there. Now about Mithal. Ah. What should my reaction be? I agree with that sentiment. So... I don't think she's happy. I don't think she's happy. What should my reaction be? Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? All right. So maybe it's still you. Someone needs to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, Dunk a butt, let's have a go. Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. You know you're an elf, right? Uh, I didn't want to be the one to spoil that for you, but I think you're an elf. How is aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. It sounds stupid to say it out loud. I don't know. I don't know demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah. Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? Uh, not this. That actually just results in disapproval. I mean, to be right, but no. This is a demon worship. So your main takeaway is that elves worshipped demons. Well, they never call them that, yeah. But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? No, it it's not demons. Bunch of gods and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, 
but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mythal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Actually, what I think it is, is it's not demons at all. I think the elven quote-unquote gods, and I'm doing that now. I wasn't before, but now I am. Because I think the, the elven gods were, um, elves. Just, they're, they're like, you know, dwarven paragons. Just people who became really, really powerful and did really amazing things. Uh... But what if even some was true? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. How? With everything we saw. Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Karifi shit heel is full of lumpy truth. I get it. You're an elf. He is. We all elfy. But this? You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. I said I'm not her herald. <laughs> it's like, I already said I'm not her herald. But Sarah didn't like that one. I wanted to do but it wouldn't be the first time. But that's not an option I get for some reason. Wow, she really doesn't like, but it's important. She has quite the ego, that Sarah. I hadn't stopped you. Well, it works for you, so I'm in good company. Words are dumb. Haven't had an argument yet. I can't end with arrows. Let me know when you want me to discuss it with Karifi shit. See, I, I regained approval with her. Um... She might be the worst. She might be the worst. Uh, carry on. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. I'm pretty sure if I go up and talk to Cole, I'm just going to get nothing. But, you know, I could still try. He meant to watch forever. He called himself Sorrow. Oh. Yeah, I love that. Ah, oh, dang, I love being able to understand him now. This. He's talking about Avalos. I'll talk to you later. Hence, he called himself Sorrow. And I wouldn't have known that necessarily... If I hadn't brought Solus with me, who then told me his name meant sorrow. Lepus! Ah! Oh. My knees! Why do I always have to Superman land? My knees can't take it! I need to go by Valfoy. Buy some Codex things. What up, dog? You look... Like demon thought or something. Wanna grab booze? Is able to possess gray wardens, or so I hear. Perhaps it's a good thing I'm not a real warden. <sighs> okay, hold up. Back to the top. Back to the approvals list. Because I don't have time to save scum all this. Um, pride. There it is. Um, oh, very it's good a thing. Blessing. Warden or not, I'd hate to be on the other side of your blade. Going up against the Darkspawn. And the last thing you want is a Grey Warden. Funny how these things happen. We'll talk later. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Okay, let me see. I've talked to... One, two, three. Talk to them. Talk to Cassandra. Talk to... 
Black Wall, talk to Liliana. I need to talk to Josephine. But I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I also think I'm done with... I think Samson's finished his quest. So I head back in, complete that. Visitor? Grab... Um... Come swiftly, Hello? this moment that would be spoken of for ages. The day the Herald of Andraste challenged the Darkspawn that thought itself a god. Defeat him, and you'll be more than a holy woman to the people. You'll enter legend. Yes! Do I want that? Well, I didn't do this alone. I couldn't have come this far without the Inquisition at my back. And there is the modesty people respect. People joined the Inquisition after hearing you were blessed, but they've stayed because of how you lead. Ah, oh, thank you. I wanted to tell you that I shared their sentiments, Inquisitor, and... Well, I suppose I just did. True. You're a good friend. You've always been there for us, Josephine. And for me. It means much to hear you say that. Farewell, my lady. When you face Corypheus, may you walk in the light. Okay, so they're saying this like, this is it. This is the end. Which begs the question, how do I start the Trespasser DLC? I have no idea. I thought I'd be encountering it at some point. So since I'm almost done for the day, I mean, it's a really about time. I'm just going to wrap up these. I'm going to have to research how to start the Trespasser DLC. Is it during the campaign or is it after? Inquisitor. The fighting was hard, but the Great Wardens protected us. Ah, crud. It didn't matter what I chose, I lost people. Okay, great. Um. So, Baroness Natalie's siege equipment arrived. So, from Demons and we laid siege to the fortress and killed both Marquis Buffon and Lady Lagasse with minimal losses on our side. We forgot to inform you that after recent actions, the Grey Wardens have suffered too many losses to be of any further resistance. The last warriors died fighting for the Inquisition in good faith. I sent the personal effects to Weiss out. Lieutenant Suzanne Klosek, Song of the Marches. Dang. Inquisition Lavalon. We have secured Samson in the holding pens. In the holding pens, your worship. He's not said much. We'll bring out the villain for judgment at your pleasure. Jailer Blythe. Thank you, Jailer Blythe. Okay, a missing assassin. Oh, no. Protect Clan Lavalon. And Wycombe. Okay. Protect Clan Lavalon and Wycombe. Wait, no. And Wycombe. There we go. Because it was also Protect Clan Lavalon. But now I'm protecting Clan Lavalon and Wycombe. You gotta delineate the difference between the two. Um, so it's Josephine or Cullen. Perfect. Those are the two I have available. Not Leliana. Hmm. Yeah, Josephine, how are you so bad at this? Um. Okay, so Josephine's... Okay, here. I'll, I'll read the spoiler of the path not traveled because it's so ridiculous what happens like it's absurd Dalen thanks to the, your thanks to the efforts of your inquisition clan Lavalon is safe within the city of Wycombe and Duke Antoine's mad efforts to destroy us have ended with his death for now I leave both our clan and the elves of this city 
while the human merchants have formed a group that deals with us fairly and honorably. The other cities of the Free Marches listen to the false stories of the nobles who fled. I fear they will retaliate, but I am loath to flee this city, as that would effectively leave, this, leave the city elves to die for our actions. If you have a path that leads to safety for our people, I welcome your advice. Dara Shiral, Keeper Istimathoriel, Lavalon. Holy cow! We'll be back tomorrow, thankfully, with this one. As it takes 18 hours if I do colon. Who's the right choice, by the way? So, Josephine's solution is, my diplomats may still be able to convince the remaining marchers to listen to reason. Okay, so the clue here is, may be able to. <clears throat> That's quite a gamble, considering she doesn't. Here's what hers says if you do her option. Ambassador Montelier. I regret to inform you that a contingent of soldiers gathered from other cities in the Free Marches attacked Wycombe and slew most of the elves within, including all of the Dalish clan. What? How did she fail that badly? They avoided attacking humans when possible and were, killing, and were willing to meet with us once their bloody work was done. They professed shock that Duke Antoine had been using red lyrium and insisted that all they knew was that the elves had rebelled and killed the rightful rulers of the city. This has all been branded a tragic misunderstanding, and the nobles who now rule Wycombe insist that they will repay the Inquisition for the, this horrible mistake. I await my return to Skyhold at your earliest convenience. Yours, Lady Guinevere Volam. They pay you in gold, the same amount of gold Colin would get anyway, and influence... And all elves in Wycombe, including Clan Lavalin, are killed. Hers is flat out the wrong choice, considering especially that with Colin, you get more stuff, as well as my clan survives. Colin, if we negotiate, the marchers will kill the elves. Yes! Then send apologies. Yes! That's exactly what happens! Wow, Colin really understands the marchers. Must fortify the city. He is really smart about this. This is the right course of action. This is the answer. I will read his tomorrow when he completes his mission. Inquisitor. Do it, Colin. You have my blessing. Uh, a missing assassin. So I need... Okay, when Leliana's done, she will have two missions to do. That's not bad. We're almost completely done with the war table stuff. Let me go look at... Let me look at this. I was just in the garden. Morgan wasn't there. Okay, the final piece. That's a requisition. That's a requisition. That's a requisition. That's a requisition. Sit in judgment. Okay. So. I'm almost done. I'm gonna be wrapping it up here today soon. Almost done with the game, that's what I mean. We're almost Power done with the game. I just realized there's an easy way to do this. I'm dumb. Because going there and seeing the locked ones won't share much with me at all. Journal. Collections. All done. Bottles in the wall. Still missing two somehow. Don't really care. Mugs and the Bros. I did find all those. That was cool. Gears and the Bros. Found all those. High Dragons. Dragon Hunter. Killed all those. Landmarks. 
all those found. Mosaics. All the regions are found. All the shards are found. All the customizations. Almost. How am I missing so many thrones? Missing thrones? So the thrones. Um... Complete, sit in judgment, complete, uh, sit in judgment. Okay, complete. Um, well, I didn't get the legacy throne for some reason, but that doesn't go toward my count anyway. Oh, you're kidding me. So here's what I'm talking about. In order to get these, this completed, you have to use the war council or the war tables and then do the resource gathering. So Exalted Plains Resources is the first one and it has a 75% chance of dropping it. Where is it? No, no, no. Resources. Get them, please. Doesn't matter who. Just matters that you do it. Each one of the... Uh, Dales areas has this, so... You just keep sending people to get accessories. I didn't know that. If I'd known that, I'd been sending people this entire time to every single place they need to go. So this is going to take a while. You're concerned. The consequences of drinking from that well. Oh. <sighs> Never mind. So that's why I haven't completed everything. There are two throne accessories for each throne. And you have to go to all these places and do this every time. That's irritating. I might not complete this. But we'll see. In the meantime, I'm going to be calling in today here. I gotta get ready for work. As well as research how on earth I'm going to start the Trespasser DLC. So, until tomorrow, everybody, have a great start to your week. 
I'll see you next time. Peace out, all. Bye.